Hi, this is Tim. In this lesson, we're going to talk about why data types matter when you are doing math in a Control Logics or Compact Logics PLC. In our previous lesson, we created a compute statement to convert our raw analog value to a scaled value. And by default, it wanted to specify a double integer. Now, we needed a real for that, but I went ahead and made a copy of it so that we could show the difference in the two. Note that this is an excerpt from a live stream, so it is not perfect. And so I'm going to make this. Actually, I'm going to show you how to do this in ladder, function block, and structured text. So this is going to be our scaled ladder. All right, and notice we got question marks there. That means that we do have to create this. So I'm going to right click it, or you can hit Control W, and we're going to create a new. And then Oh, actually, this would be good to talk about is, all right, it's going to default to a double integer. And yeah, let's, um, all right, first, I'm going to create this as a real, but also I am going to copy and paste this, and I'm going to make this scaled ladder dent. Whoops. So I'm going to make a second one of these. So this would be D-I-N-T, and I'm just going to create that. And I'm gonna leave this at the default. It wanted a dent, we're gonna create a dent for it. And I'm gonna put that into the program. We're seeing a value. Look at there, we got 20 milliamps. And we have 20 milliamps in both of them. And yeah, if we look on our screen, yeah, we're showing 20 milliamps here. And if we go, and let's drop down, this is where it's gonna show a difference. In fact, let me do it back to the screen is I'm going to drop down to 19.9 milliamp. And notice that I dropped to 19.89, which is pretty close, 19.8986 milliamps here. I dropped to 19 here. And if I drop on down, you can see that our real value, it's following it pretty good. I'm just going to bring it down to 19.1. So now you can see on our analog simulator, we're showing 19.1. And right here, we're showing 19.09 something. And yeah, so we're really close, but we're 19 here. Now I'm going to drop it down to 19. And notice that this one went to 18. So what's happening here is a double integer is a whole number. And this is a real so it can have a decimal so we're having rounding because we're using the double integer now i was kind of waiting to see if anybody pop it in chat but it doesn't look does anybody notice anything strange that at 18.99 we'd be at 18 milliamps does that seem like some funny um rounding to anybody Let's see if anybody's actually listening in chat because remember we're we're gonna give away do what i know Michael's Michael's over here told me we have a bad latency at the shop so you got to give everybody 10 seconds so yeah we'll take that 10 seconds to say hey don't forget participating in chat today will give you an opportunity to win this sim ALP2 uh, this is a demo model it's a little bit older version but it still has all the same capabilities but yeah so we got some truncation but we got some weird truncation going on don't we because typically you would think it would round we would get at 19.9 or here's the math we're going for 18.899 milliamps you think that we would get 19 we'd have the value and so yeah we got a few people that are saying truncation here this is actually rounding and you know the first time i saw this i was like what is going on could rockle really have forgotten how to round because really yeah above 18.5 you think it would go to 19 but what's happening is here is we're getting rounding in this compute statement and i'll show you how to fix this because sometimes you do need to go to an integer in these cases or a double integer if we're shooting across my bus now typically even then i would go to a real first and then i would go to it but watch this so you see right now we're showing a value of 18 here and mainly let's let's make sure you see that so let me go back here and make sure you see. Anyway, if we go down to 18 and a half milliamp, there's where we ought to see it bouncing, we believe, between 18 and 19. But if we go over here, then yeah, we're not. We're a solid 18. And yeah, we're 18.49 here. 
But okay, yeah. So Jack, yeah, it could be what our operation, but no, this isn't. So what it is, is Glenn is kind of onto this, is yeah, you notice when I entered this, we put all whole numbers in here. Now watch this thing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this and, oh man, my screens are so messed up. I tell you guys, I'm really struggling because all my screens are backwards. <laughs> but okay, if I go here and I change this to 3277.0 and I change this one to 20.0 and I change this one to 4.0. And I changed this one to 16383.0. And I changed this one to 3277.0. And finally, I changed this one to 4.0. This is the exact same equation. And I'm still going to a double integer that cannot handle any decimals. But watch this. You see right now it's showing 18, right? And we have not made any true changes in the values here. Now I'm going to put this in. And okay, it's showing 18 still, so yeah, at first you're like, what? It didn't really make any difference, but watch this. So right now I'm at that 18.5, and also if you look here, we're actually at 18.49. And so our math would round down to 18. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to 18.5. And the moment I do that, notice this went to 19. So now we are seeing rounding like you would expect. Right now we're at 18.49 and we're showing 18. And we go to 18.59 and we're going to be at 19. So that's just something to be aware of is that you have to watch out for the decimals. Even if you're going to a whole number and you're like, oh, well, you know, I'm, um, I'm using whole numbers here, so I don't need to put any decimals in. It does make that difference. So that's just something to be real aware of on that. I'll put a link to the 4 to 20 milliamp lesson series in the description. Till next time. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.